I don't want to bore you with um, my words. I want to make this video under five minutes. Um, so the trial for the guy during the Waukesha parade massacre, or as people in Wisconsin say, Waukesha, you know, the parade massacre killer. He's on trial right now. I think his name is Darnell Brooks. The name just sort of popped up in my head. I'm going to double check, but his name is Darnell Brooks, something Brooks. And when it happened, when I heard about it last year, I just looked at the story on my phone and I just kept on going. But I just, I pointed out to the dude I was working with at Walmart. I was like, that's really weird. You hear a black guy in the media, they're talking about a black dude talking about killing Jewish people and white people. That's just not something you hear about a lot. But I, um, I had no idea that happened in Wisconsin. I, I, like, I'm trying to think, like, maybe I vaguely remember before I moved to Wisconsin that happened there. But, um, but yeah, if I knew that happened there, I would have never fucking went. If Kyle Rittenhouse was found guilty of two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder, I would have never went to Wisconsin knowing that because of, let me tell you, the secret outrage of the white community. Now, let me be very raw. I want to be very raw on this video, this part one. I want to call it, do white people secretly hate black people? And I'm only saying this based on behavior. Not physical violence, but behavior. Because, you know, I um I was in Wisconsin for six months. And I know um some of the areas. Where I worked at, it was a place called Delafield. It is not really far from where the massacre took place. It's about 20 minutes away if you drive, um, you know, take like the highway. It's like 20 minutes away. And there is actually like a downtown. See, where well, Waukesha is not like Philadelphia, New York. It's a suburb. It's not an actual. I believe it's not a, like an actual city city. It's not like a city like Philly. It's more like a suburb of Milwaukee. And um, where I was working at, one of my first series of jobs, it is not far from Waukesha. So um, I just, I'm 100% sure when I say this. The whites that I was working at, I was working with at the store that I regretted going to, I know they were mad as shit when they first heard, like, this guy, you know, killed all these people, these innocent people. And they had a right to be. But this is what I um what I don't like. So, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure there was a lot of before I came working in this store. I worked at a all white grocery store. Before I came there, I know you know they were mad. You know they were, you know a lot of niggers were being thrown around. A lot of, you know, statistics on crime and race were being posted on Facebook. I know that was probably being talked about. I'm not blaming them either. But my point I'm trying to make is. What I don't like is when you have a problem with somebody and you don't, you don't really tell them, um, ex like, like explicitly. You you, 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 show your anger by doing shit behind that person's back, or they you do tactics that are very, just fucked up. And what I'm trying to say is, um, I worked at this store for like a month or some change, um. I had a bad experience in Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee is like fucking Philly, but without cheesesteaks, without um, black Muslims, and no one says the word John and young boy every fucking sentence. But it's just like Philly. And, um, you know, compared to Philly, like I I, I think Philadelphia... Um, is more tougher than Milwaukee. I don't, even though I think it's a shithole city, I think Philadelphia is still tougher than, than Milwaukee. Any Midwestern city other than Chicago, I feel like Philadelphia has, um, I would feel Philadelphia is more of a threat than any Midwestern city other than Chicago, South side of Chicago to be exact. I don't, I don't, even though I, I, I left this, I worked at this bar, um, in, in Milwaukee and I didn't like none of the people there other than this, um, this Asian girl I was working with. I liked her pretty good, but, um, what I'm trying to say is 
I thought that I could avoid the bullshit if I work at a, you know, at a store, you know, where, you know, I'm like the only black person. I just thought that was a good idea to avoid the bullshit. Well, let me tell you this. And this is what I learned. When you work a job around the uneducated white person or minority, Hispanic, Asian, they, a lot of the times, they, you'll, you'll deal with, I'm not saying you'll deal with violence, but you'll deal with a lot of bullshit with that too, because understand, they don't have education. Most of the time you're dealing with a parent, someone that's maybe fucked their life up with drugs or jail. So um, you have to watch out with that too. That's what I learned. But what I had, what I was unaware of is the fact that this guy just killed all these people. And I know they're upset about, you know, that. And what I believe is, you know, secretly, you know, because I didn't last long working there because I just didn't trust the fucking people. I felt like they were they were not to be trusted at all. And, you know, unfortunately, this has messed up my perception on race, like to an extent where let me just say this. I'm not pro black. I'm not like I don't I don't really think I have people. I'm on my own in this world. Other than family, I'm on my own. But I don't I don't feel like the alliance with black and white is I think it's non-existent at this point. There is no alliance with with race with any race you're on you if if you identify if you think that there are like alliances with other races of people you need to experience what i experience because there is none at all but um what i'm trying to say is i worked around these people for, for two for like a month and some change and they didn't really want me there at, at, to begin with they didn't i think they 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 looking at my name they thought that I was white and they just gave me the job, you know, they couldn't like, you know, um, you know, renege on giving me the job. But, um, long story short, um, you know, the people I worked around, they weren't shit. And they were, I believe they were taking out on me with this guy and, and the guy, Darnell Brooks, if that's his name, whatever he did to those innocent people, they were taking it out on me. Just like this girl I just mentioned in Milwaukee, the one that I liked a lot, um, I told her to her face, you know, because it was I, I worked at a job where there was a lot of black people, and I, I told her, um, and they were giving her a hard time. They were very rude to her. A lot of the women were. Oh, well, it was like it was a it was a woman that um, was yelling at her, and she had to change like parts, like she had to change roles in the job. She was trying to find another job because I left working there before her, but. Um, what was messed up was, and I told her, I told her the reason why a lot of these black women here are giving you a hard time is because of your features. Because not all, but a lot of black women, they are not, they're not comfortable in, um, you know, with their features, their traits. Mostly the hair and like the skin. With me, I don't give a shit about how like a person's hair is. I don't I don't get into that all that dark skin, light skin shit. I, I said that at the bar actually. I told the dude. Cause I didn't hear that shit until I started working there. I didn't hear um I I was not really I forgot that I was dark skin until I started working in a job like that. But um I told her that they are very envious of the way your hair is and your features. And and it's sad because I'm not out here trying to like burn my hair when I had a I, I cut my hair I'm growing a bat when I had my hair I never tried to burn it with a comb a hot comb someone advised me to do that and I just said why the hell would I try to try to look like something that I'm not why would I want to look like a knockoff white man or a Hispanic guy like why would I do something like that but um I'm, I'm going pretty long on this video I believe that um you know, this is my this is my advice. Never go to a city where you just had a guy kill what five, six people with his car and he's currently on trial. Do not go there because all the anger 
that they um have, they will take that shit out on you. And that goes anyway. That is vice versa. Just like with the George Floyd or um I remember there was a white girl who um she lived in LA and she was getting her um people were like beating her up because of the George Floyd situation. I, she it was she was a homeless um girl living on Skid Row and she talked about how when the whole George Floyd situation happened, she was getting into a lot of fights with people. And and, and Skid Row is predominantly black in LA. But my point is when there is ever tension going on with races, do not go in those cities or those states or those areas. Stay out of them. Let that shit simmer down. But um. anyway, peace. I mean, I'll do a part two to this video.